Now at six, healing from cuts and bruises after suspected hate crime. A gay couple on vacation when one ends up a victim of a violent attack inside a Miami Beach restaurant. A trip to South Florida turned into a nightmare for that man visiting from California. He was attacked by a stranger for showing affection towards his partner. That victim is speaking out about the violent brawl. CBS 4's Ted Scouten spoke with him today and is live with the story. Ted? Hey, Elliot. Well, the allegation here is that this is a hate crime because the man who was beaten was gay. Now, this is one of those areas where you would least expect something like this to happen because it's very gay friendly. Right back here, this is where the BK Whopper Bar is. This is where it happened. This is at 11th and Washington Avenue on Miami Beach. Right across the street is the Miami Beach Police Department. And just steps away is one of South Florida's most famous gay bars. It was a violent brawl inside a South Beach BK Whopper bar at 11th and Washington, March 14th. Jordan Schaefer is the guy in the white shirt. This is the aftermath. Jordan has a fat lip along with a lot of cuts and bruises. For the first time, we're hearing from Jordan himself. We were going to Miami for a relaxing weekend and it's, it, was, it was traumatizing to be honest. Jordan and his boyfriend Eric were visiting from LA. He said it all began after someone in the restaurant saw the two kiss hurled anti-gay slurs, then came after him. Trying to talk my way out of it. Um, you know, there was nowhere for me to go. Once I started walking forward, I was then slammed to the ground. From there, it appears the alleged attacker, the guy in the bottom, used martial arts moves, wrapping his legs around Jordan, continuing the beating. Once I got slammed to the ground, it's kind of a blur. I was getting kicked, I was getting hit. As the fight continues, we see Jordan's boyfriend, Eric, trying to help. But then a man in jeans and a long sleeve white shirt pushes him back. Jordan says he's traumatized. It's not right that anyone should suffer a hate crime and, you know, to be a victim based off the person that they are. Here's the guy police are looking for, seen as he was leaving the restaurant. Jordan's attorney said he's troubled that there have been fights here before and there's no security. We're also concerned that there's a location on Miami Beach that serves alcohol, yet has absolutely no security personnel whatsoever. There are no bar bouncers. There's no security. There's absolutely nothing. And we reached out to Burger King for comment. We have not heard back from them. Uh, as for a lawsuit, the attorney and the victim say they're not filing one right now. Their main concern at this point is helping police try to find that suspect. Live in South Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.